Citrus sodas. The very unique fruit flavored sodas that you find in supermarkets around the globe. The one citrus soda that's been ruling the citrus market is Mountain Dew. And for many years this loved drink was the lead in the citrus market and many wondered would another citrus soda ever come into competition with this drink. Well when the soda Sundrop became national, Mountain Dew had a new competition. As Sundrop's first commercial got people's attention. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Cause I got it going on. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. A first quenching citrus soda just dropped, coast to coast, sundrop. That's how you drop it. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Sundrop became a very popular drink all around the nation, but the past creates the future. So what happened to make the soda that we know today as Sundrop? Many different sources have stated that Sundrop was created ranging from the years of 1928 to 1949, as Sundrop's own website says that the history is a little bit blurry. So let's just say, a man named as Charles Lazier from New Haven, Missouri, who was a salesman of beverage concentrates, was driving with his family in his car during 1928 to 1949. During the drive, Lazier quickly scribbled a recipe for a new soft drink on a small piece of paper and he handed it to his son, Charles Jr. The younger Lazier worked as a lab technician at his father's plant and soon begun work on the formula. Two years later, Sundrop debuted at the American Ballers of Carbonated Beverages Conference in Washington, D.C. in either the year of 1930 or 1951. Sundrop was marketed in several southern states under the names of Sundrop Golden Cola or Golden Girl Cola. The brand was acquired and standardized by Crush International in 1970. Crush International was purchased by Procter & Gamble in 1980. Procter & Gamble introduced several new Sundrop flavors in 1985, including Diet Sundrop and a third brand as Cherry Lemon Sundrop. And then in February of 2002, the brand introduced caffeine-free Sundrop. P&G sold its soft drinks holding to Canbury Sweeps PLC in 1989. Canbury Sweeps PLC demerged in 2008, with its beverage unit becoming Dr. Pepper Snapple Group, which currently produces Sundrop. Sundrop has maintained popularity in many parts of the southern United States, especially in Tennessee, North Carolina, and parts of the Midwest including Wisconsin and western Minnesota. And like so many other sodas in the past, families have sent Sundrop to the U.S. soldiers serving in Afghanistan so they can enjoy their favorite citrus drink. In the 1980s and early 1990s, the drink was promoted by famous NASCAR Winston Cup driver Dale Earnhardt. When Dr. Pepper Snapple Group got the rights to Sundrop, they had big plans for it. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group plans were to distribute Sundrop nationwide beginning in 2011 with the campaign that features an update website, a Facebook page, and a promotional deal with MTV. The Sundrop marketing plan is a component of the Dr. Pepper Snapple Group's efforts to expand its non-cola soda sales and is targeting drinkers of PepsiCo's Mountain Dew brand of soft drinks in the United States. Sundrop's expansion occurred several months after Coca-Cola brought its high caffeine citrus drink Mellow Yellow nationwide. Dr. Pepper Snapple Group entered into agreement with MTV marketing agency Scratch. Scratch will also develop a new Sundrop advertising and branding including a new design for the can. MTV also will feature Sundrop and programmings including on its reality series The Real World. The soft drink has also recently become the leading sponsor for another race car driver, Ryan Hunter Rie, and his number 28 car in the IndyCar series. As Sundrop has become a national name quickly, it got there for a reason, flavor. So what do people think of its flavor? Well, Patrick from Soda Tasting seemed to enjoy this soda from the south. 
And I'm really excited to try today's soda because I just recently discovered it, being a fan of Sundrop, since the brand went nationwide last year. Taste. Difference between the two flavors, and I think the difference for me... One of the main differences, anyway, is sort of the, the fruit notes in this one. It comes out a little more. It's almost like a little bit of a lemonade, um, you know, which makes sense since this is a, a citrus soda. You know, it does have orange juice concentrate in it instead of not lemon, but it's almost like a lemonade-esque quality, or at least more of one than the high fructose corn syrup version. Um, and due to that, I think my rating for Sundrop with sugar is going to be... Four out of five. Very good. I like it a lot. Another YouTuber known as the Soda Jerk also reviewed Sundrop. Why don't we go and crack this sucker open because I'm thirsty. Cheers. Wow. I've said it before, folks, and I'll say it again. All those, uh, Manufacturers of corn inside the United States say that your brain can't tell the difference between fructose and sucrose. You're full of shit. I can tell the difference. Oh my good lord. Oh. What differentiates Sundrop from Mountain Dew? Um, in my experience, it's a little bit more simple, I guess is the word. Um, as compared to Mountain Dew, it's a little more mellow in the flavor. Mountain Dew's got kind of a bite to it. You know, any of you guys have ever had it, it's got kind of that sharp, um, citrusy, lemon-lime flavor. Um, this is kind of, like I said, on the same playing field, but it's just kind of leveled out and smoothed out and a bit more mellow. And I'll be honest with you, um, maybe it's just because I'm having a glass bottle right now, but I'm, I'm definitely preferring this to Mountain Dew. Oh, dude, that's so just, mmm, like... You know, just one of those. Patrick and Jimbo both love Sundrop. Now let's see what me and my friends think. Steven. And we are going to try Sundrop, a citrus soda. And here's the sugar form, and we can compare it with its high fructose corn syrup brother. Normal thing, let's try the high fructose. Uh, by the way, here's a sp fun fact. This does contain 1% juice, which actually when I bought this, there was actually, um... You know when you have orange juice and you taste those little bits of it? You know, like a pulp. Yeah. That's what it's called. This actually sometimes has pulp in it, and if you look in the light, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Do you guys see it? Yeah. That's pulp of lemon and lime. So it's interesting. I've never seen that in a soda. Okay. I've, of course, had Sundrop before. It's common. It's good. It says every bottle wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it smells like a citrus. Tastes like a citrus, but I noticed that its biggest competitor is Mountain Dew. But I have to say, honestly, this tastes better than better than Mountain Dew to me. Them's fighting words. I just think it tastes better. I think it has a much more unique sweetness to it. And this is a high fructose corn syrup. Mina? Sundrop? It smells like orange. You have very bizarre senses when it comes to these. Yeah, it smells like orange. This has a lot more fizz or fuzz, whatever it's called, fizz. than Mountain Dew. All right, but the and, flavor. Um, the flavor is nice, but Mountain Dew, if like you compare those two, that one's a lot more harsh than this one. This one just kind of like, it's okay. It's to me, it tastes kind of like lemonade. You've had this before, obviously. You had it on your side during the chair wine review in case the chair wine sucked, but you tolerated that. So I do like this. So now let's actually rate the taste. I will say that as a fan of Mountain Dew, I think Mountain Dew is just a little bit stronger than this. That's true. It's more of a citrusy flavor than Mountain Dew is, sort of like the soda that will not be named because Mina will laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and of course, she'll laugh at it anyway because of that. Anyways, I will say that this is uh, pretty good. How would you compare it to Mountain Dew? I'm just curious. I would say... Don't compare it to Mountain Dew because it's not quite the same soda. Not like Mellow Yellow or something, but 
I'd say it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I like it. It's a... I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. I like it more than Mountain Dew. So, let's try the sugar version. And it also has pulp in it, if you see. See? Well, the camera certainly doesn't see. Yeah, I know, but they, they'll take my word for it. Yeah. Yeah. There is. Okay, so I think this one's a twist top. If not... Yes, there we go. Now we don't have to waste time getting the bottle opener. Let's say it right here. Okay, I've noticed with most glass bottles, the smell is not strong, but, um... Still smell the same citrus smell, so I'm excited for this. Let's try it out. Hold on. Oh. This is much better. It's, the flavor is a lot more balanced. It's smoother. Since you said it had a lot of fizz, this is a lot smoother. Um, the sugar just makes the sweetness pop out in the right ways in my, in my mouth. <laughs> and I think it's great, actually. Hold on. And Mina, your turn on the sun drop. Yeah, still smell the lemon. It, um, it's definitely like, it's smoother than the last one. And I like it a little bit more because it has more flavor. Yeah. And I can actually taste the sweetness more. Yeah, it's good. I like this. Definitely a more vibrant flavor, probably because of the real sugar. Mm. I will say uh, <laughs> the, the citrus is pretty good. I I like it. Yeah. And uh, I really don't have much more to say about it other than what I said about the one with high fructose corn syrup, except that this flavor is more vibrant. So I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10 as a result. I'm going to give it a 10, just because I liked it more than the other one. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I mean, citrus sodas are... I'm not always a big fan, mostly because of the high fructose corn... Oh, sorry, not high fructose, sorry. Because of the so much caffeine, I sometimes get headaches, but you know. Me and my friends loved Sunjob, as Steven gave it an 8 out of 10, Mina a 10 out of 10, and I gave it a 9 out of 10. And for those great ratings, it is getting added to the soda bin. As a guy who doesn't really enjoy citrus sodas, this one truly surprised me. I haven't had a citrus soda in a while since whenever I drank them I got nasty headaches due to the caffeine, and the flavor is just unappealing to me, but Sundrop is different. It had a nice flavor and surprisingly did not give me a headache. I don't know what you guys do to make Sundrop so good and make a citrus soda that doesn't give me a headache, but whatever it is, do not stop. Even if its history seems blurry, still give the soda a shot and try its sweet citrus flavor. You won't regret it. Thank you for watching. Join me next time when I drink...